Hi, this is Thunder Yee from BorderWork.com. Happy Easter, everyone, and uh, welcome to another episode of What You Missed This Week, episode 10. So uh, let's jump right into it because we have a lot of stuff to cover, which we had a lot of news this week. Uh, jumping into tech news, the first thing um, you probably noticed on the site, if you've been on the site, or if you haven't, uh, at least this weekend, is we had our first full review of the HTC Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is an, uh, the first 4G LTE device on the Verizon network. And um, what's unique about Thunderbolt is that it's um, it's a 4.3 inch um, Android smartphone, but also it has 4G LTE. And how fast is that? You can check out the review, but I can tell you it is fast. It's really fast. I mean, download speeds are very good. We have a speed test in that review. So definitely check it out. As well as the phone handles very, very well um, in general. So it's, you see a lot of good usage, and we'll talk about a lot of things in review. So go ahead, check that out. We have an link for you with this, uh, with this video. We also have our full review of the uh, CJ uh, headset. Now, CJs are... These are the CJ headsets. Um, basically, it's made by a company, Swedish company named Jays, and um, they make lightweight, very comfortable, um, great sounding headphones. That's, that's the whole shtick. And um, they're very comfortable, they're very light, they also look very cheap in a sense. But the sound quality you get from these is, is very good. So definitely check out the review, and it will tell you more about that in the uh, full review. Uh, we also have our full review of the LG. Uh, smart TV upgrader. We had the unboxing last week and we have the full review this week. So uh, definitely check that out. A um, couple of key things there. There were some ups and downs, plus and minuses to the device. Uh, one thing I did mention, like I said, I did like the DLA uh, feature set in it. What I didn't like so much is the lack of app applications in the app store, app store segment. But check out the full review, make your decision and you can you know, definitely buy it or not buy it, whatever you want to do. And uh, we'll have that. We have the links for you for that on the website also. Uh, moving on up, we have our unboxing of the BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, Playbook came out uh, Thursday, I believe, and um, it's available in stores. You can definitely go out and pick one up. I'll just give you a quick hardware tour, seeing how the device looks, um, its size, and all that fun stuff, and it's um, pretty well shaped. So check that out, um, and then we'll ha definitely have some more BlackBerry videos for you in the coming week or so. So you can check that out as well as the full review for the play uh, for the Playbook. Excuse me. Um, and that um, interesting news that came out this week is uh, T-Mobile announced a software called Bobsled. Now, Bobsled allows you to turn your Facebook into a phone. So right now, the software is only avail available for uh, uh, as a desktop client for your computers or your laptops, and it will be eventually available for Android and iOS. But what Bobsled does is it allows you to make phone calls to your friends, Facebook friends. So anyone you have in your friends book on Facebook or your friends list, through the chat messenger, you can just make a call to them on Facebook. Uh, the call doesn't, you don't call their direct telephone numbers, you actually call their Facebook account. So uh, check that out. We have a demo for you to show you how it works and all that fun stuff. So definitely uh, check that out and see how that, uh, how that functions. Um, Samsung announced their W200 uh, multi-proof uh, cam. Basically what it is, it's a um, waterproof, dirt-proof uh, handy cam. You know that you can you know use while swimming and all that kind of stuff and it takes records in 1080p and doesn't have a five megapixel camera so they made an announcement definitely check that out and see uh, articles on that also on the unboxing segments we had a couple of unboxings this week we had another unboxing of the T-Mobile Psychic 4G which is um, uh, the Psychic 4G is the uh, reincarnation of the Psychic, which uh, T-Mobile was well known for. This is powered by Android 2.2, uh, it's, it's manufactured and made by Samsung. So we definitely just did a tour, told you, showed you guys how it looked, how it feels as a Psychic. The keyboard still feels great, so um, definitely check that out and we will have the full review also uh, this coming week, most likely on Monday. So check that out. Um, the Droid Charge is coming. Um, to Verizon Network, which would be Verizon's second LTE phone that's coming out on uh, April 28th, as well as the Droid Incredible 2. So, uh, if you're looking for LTE phones, Thunderbolt, Droid Charge, um, as well as the Incredible 2, all coming out on Verizon 
um, they will be available all three at least on the 28th of April. So definitely check out the press, the release we have there for that. Um, on some kind of tech rumorish, so to speak, um, we had some leaked magazine uh, uh, images of, from Walmart that showed that the Samsung Infuse uh, 4G, which is a very thin, super thin 4.5 inch Samsung uh, smartphone that was shown at CES, will be available uh, at, via Walmart in May. It said sometime in May for $178. So, um, mind you, it's not dual core uh, phone, and again, the Galaxy S2 is coming down the line, so that's probably why the pricing is at that, which is pretty nice. It looks like a pretty cool phone, so hopefully we'll be able to re review that for you in the future. Uh, second, uh, K Stack put up his um, review of the HTC Arrive, so you can definitely check that out. I had some some cool little uh, a video just showing you different aspects of the device, as well as he did his, his Zoom tour, uh, um, Zoom pass on the HTC Arrive, to show you guys how that works, how it feels, and how he liked it or didn't like it, all that fun stuff. But from 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 his review, you can see that. Um, he really liked the Arrive, he liked the keyboard, he liked, he actually, um, uh, it was his first Windows 7 device, so he actually um, has a has an interesting uh, tune about it. So definitely check it out. Um, we'll have K-Stack's review up with the links for you as well. And, um, and finally, we have uh, an article from Andy Martin talking about mobility insecurity. Uh, uh, basically, talking about how, you know, um, we have a lot of, especially with our mobile phones, we uh, the there's a lot of access to our private data off our phones to devices and different aspects of different apps. So, especially with the news with the iPhone that tracks your iPhone actually tracks you now constantly. So, it's something that um, you, and if you're interested in that, you can check out the article. We we'll have links for you also, and it looks it looks pretty good. So that is, um, of course, that's my tweet there going off there. That's uh, pretty much what we have on the tech news. There's a lot of stuff out there. We probably have a bunch more, but all the links will be attached uh, with this video so you guys can check it out. On the entertainment uh, segment, uh, Mortal Kombat Legacy Episode 2, um, the uh, second episode is up. It, came, it aired the same day as the release of Mortal Kombat um, a video game just came out, uh, which actually is pretty good. We'll hopefully have a, a our gamers review of that for you and, and tell you how how it feels. Probably in about a day or two. So definitely uh, check that out. We have the video for you on the site, so you can definitely check it out. Uh, we also have a comic book preview, uh, a comic book written by a fellow named um, Kalu Eke. It's uh, called Tartarus, and it's basically um, it's a it's a cool sci-fi story. It talks about a guy who. Um, is stuck in, in, in a place where technology, um, science, as well as um, supernatural activities have just come in and like bombarded and influenced his life. So he's kind of stuck in this new place where you know, I just check it out. I wouldn't even say much more about it, but basically check it out. Uh, the preview. You can also we have a link to where you can purchase the comic book um, if you if you're interested in it. So definitely check out the the um, preview of Tatras. We'll have a link for you there. Uh, another video in the entertainment segment is, uh, it's kind of funny, um, um, the African Beyonce was giving out makeup tips and she does it in a very uh, interesting way. So if you want to get a good laugh and see how makeup is done by her, and you can check out that, that out. We have a video for you. So definitely check it out on the website. Uh, the link's also there. And also finally on the entertainment segment, a 3D porn movie uh, named um, Sex and Zen uh, actually beat out Avatar in the Hong Kong box office. Um, Sex and Zen is a remake of, um, or a rehash, 3D rehash remake of uh, 1997 Hong Kong movie, which is still the highest grossing movie in Hong Kong uh, cinema till this day. And the 3D version just relaunched uh, um, Maybe say a couple of weeks ago, and um, it beat out the opening day box office results that were set by Avatar in Hong Kong. So, we have videos, we have the red brand trailer, so you can check it out to see why you know this is uh, it's that big in Hong Kong anyway. So, check that out. And finally, in our odd news segment, we do have a couple of articles, but um, uh, just posted two, two here for you one woman who was driving and she called in to report erratic drivers on the road, had a car accident while reporting er er erratic drivers on the road. So basically, as she was talented on people, she had an accident herself. So check that out. And uh, finally, an Oregon mailman was suspended for 
defecating on um, someone's yard on his route. So while he was delivering the mail, he probably had to do a number two, kind of got pressed and decides it's like, yeah, let's just do it in the yard. So this video and pictures and what have you. So check that out. Anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, any comments, uh, let us know. Any news articles, any things we missed, uh, you name it, just, just let us know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages. Uh, Twitter, it's Border Work 2 O's. Uh, YouTube, it's Border Work 2 O's. And also on Facebook, you can search us on Facebook and like our page. It's all Border Work. Uh, spelt with two O's and also definitely hit us up on the website check out all the articles on the website it's all border work spoke with two O's and so this is Thunder E from border work saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment